What's going on guys? Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video continuing the Toronto Maple Leafs 2024-2025 player previews. Today we're talking about David Camp, often Austin Matthews' favorite player as he would say. Uh, but if you guys are new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. I'd love to have you guys here. Love talking Maple Leafs with you guys. So let's continue the fun and let's talk about the Maple Leafs every single day like we've been doing recently. So uh, if you want to see more news and trade rumors and trade talk, I've got a couple videos. So like and subscribe for those. I want to see if you guys are interested. Sound off in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I want to talk about David Camp today. We've been talking a lot about um, some of the bottom six forwards so far and what they bring to this team. And I, I don't know if I'm going to upload the Yarncrook one before this one. I'm sure I will. But much like the Cali Yarncroke situation, David Camp was kind of in the same boat going into this offseason. A lot of Leaf fans were like, if you're going to shed some money, you should probably do it with David Camp. And we'll look at his contract in a little bit here. But the Leafs obviously haven't done that yet. Uh, there's still a chance right before training camp starts or even right after training camp. If they believe that David Camp isn't playing up to his contract or they feel like he can't contribute anymore, maybe that's something that they explore. If somebody like a Fraser Minton comes in and looks decent to play on that fourth line or if they like Pontus Holmberg better as a fit and they want to stretch Max Domi into third line center. We'll see. Maybe he ends up as an extra guy. Maybe he gets sent down to the Marlies uh, for a little bit of cap relief. I don't know what they want to do, but I like David Camp. We just have to see what he looks like because last year it was like hot and cold. It was like the tale of two seasons for him because he played really well at some points and then really poorly at the other. So I can see why people were considering putting him in trade talk. I was one of those people, but I'm still on the fence because I think I like the guy and I like the way that he plays when he's on his game. But if we're going to look at him, still 29 years old, right in the age range of where the Maple Leafs kind of have that talent. And I believe David Kampf is a playoff style player as much as people may disagree with me. I think that his defensive side of the game works really well for a team that uh, can't really play that well defensively uh, sometimes. But for a guy that scored one goal before coming here, and I know he had eight the previous season, David Kampf has actually pot some pretty good production. I mean, excuse me, 26 in 82 games the first year, and then he had seven last uh, two years ago, and then eight last season. He still can give you that 20 to 25 points uh, if he's in the lineup every night. Uh, I could easily see that being over 20 points again uh, if he plays the full 82. But he's averaging around 13 minutes of ice time. So he's in that third to fourth line slot. Uh, but if we look at the contract, this is what a lot of people have been worried about. And it's that $2.4 million cap hit. He's in year two of four when it comes to that contract and look it is a, a little bit expensive for a fourth line guy like the Maple Leafs could have just let him go and had Pont Pontus Holmberg for like a million or 1.1 million or even less because uh, I, I believe Pontus Holmberg is still uh, on that cheap like $800,000 deal or something like that but uh, you know I don't know if I love or hate the contract because I know that in a couple of years that contract is is going to be up, but it's also going to be a very low end contract because as the salary goes up, the the salary cap, the cap ceiling, the cap percentage goes up for players and what they want for their contracts. And I mentioned that in the Cali Yarncroak video, but 2.4 for a fourth line center is hard. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's something that you're kind of like, I don't know if I want to pay this guy that much. Is he worth that much money? I personally think that if David Camp plays the way that we all expect him to, and especially the way that he played in the first year in Toronto, this guy's a good hockey player. He's, he's a great piece. He's a great depth piece. And the way that Berube structures this bottom six could make or break the Leaf season because he's a more defensive style coach. And David Camp under Craig Berube could be a, a difference maker for the bottom six. So if we look here, they project him to play with Connor Dewar and Ryan Reeves. And like I've said before, I do believe Ryan Reeves will be a guy that plays a lot under Craig Berube. I don't think he'll be out of the lineup very much uh, because, you know, it just it, it's a guy that just makes sense. And I believe he's played under Berube before. I could be wrong. But Connor Dewar 
could be a guy that gets interchangeable in the fourth line. Same thing with like a Pontus Holmberg, maybe Bobby McMahon at some points, maybe Callie Yarncrook at some points, maybe a Robertson or a Cowan if Robertson signs and if Cowan makes the team. Um, a guy like Fraser Minton could be a guy that pushes him out of this spot. I, I'm not too sure, but under Barube, I feel like that fourth line could be pretty effective. And even the third line, if they go for a really defensive style, speedy, type of third or fourth line like could you imagine like maybe a doer camp yarn croak line like that could be a legitimate shutdown defensively a little bit of speed a little bit of scoring touch because yarn crook's a 20 goal scorer doer can chip in eight to ten goals camp can uh chip in eight to ten goals that's a pretty solid line if i was to piece together a line I would probably go with that. I would like that much more than having, you know, Ryan Reeves in there, even though I do love Revo, don't get me wrong. But if you're going to be in a playoff position and you want to mix it up a little bit, maybe you can have an extra forward depending on how the lineup is constructed. I would really love to see them go with like a really typical shutdown defensive style line and go from there. But David Camp, a guy that I think adds value to a team i think that he is a really good defensive style forward but whether or not the maple leaves need him and his contract is something that they're going to find out after training camp and and that's the biggest thing for me and this could almost be a trade rumor or trade talk video in itself because training camp is going to open up a lot of eyes for people and i know the leafs haven't signed a lot of ptos they haven't brought in guys yet but there's still some interesting names out there that the maple leafs could bring in to push for a roster spot and if that's the case guys like doer could be pushed out guys like camp could be pushed out reeves could be pushed out you know if, if easton cowan or fraser minton come in here and even they could get pushed out i it's just there's so many possibilities there should be a lot of fight there should be a lot of drive there should be a lot of competition for that fourth line i want to see the leafs finally have a training camp where you're like oh that guy can make the team that guy can make the team that guy can make the team just push each other get each other across the finish line Let's see if people can compete for spots. And David Camp is going to have to be one of those people. He has to compete for his spot. And the, the, I know some people are probably looking at me nuts when I'm making, well, how much time has it been? Almost eight minutes long video on third and fourth line talent. But I love the Maple Leafs. I love talking about the depth. I love trying to see where this team will fit. I want to make a lines video um, in response to Steve Dangle. I know he made a, a video where he's talking about the lineup, how he would construct it. But Kampf has got to be in there locked in right now, but he could lose that spot. And we'll get into that as we go on. So if you guys are new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for coming on to the Andrew Pillick Hockey channel and talking Leafs with me. I love and appreciate you guys as always. And uh, go Leafs go. Tell me what you guys want to see. Sound off in the comments about David Kampf. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.